up in flames. Magic Cop is about to lose investors a lot of money. Let's look at the numbers. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I hope you are doing well. I myself am doing pretty great because I didn't pay 147 bucks for Pardee of Old Magic Arps two weeks ago. But wait, it's up 166% in the last year, I hear some of you cry. Yes, that's very true, but it doesn't help the FOMO chasers who bought in at the top now, does it? And I'm afraid this is just the beginning for the Carpe Diem from Canto. Now, I want to be super clear. This is not a video of me hating on Magikarp. Quite the contrary, in fact. The scratch art style takes me back to being a kid, and the artwork captures the Chinese legend of the carp story absolutely perfectly. The hidden Gyarados is a nice touch too, but as cool a card as it is, I've had several people ask me if they should be going all in right now and buying the dip. And this channel is about reporting on the market. Yeah, we have some laughs too, but most importantly, it's about giving you guys good honest advice. I don't think you should be investing in this card. In fact, I think it is a terrible idea, and here's why. Firstly, Magikarp has more than a checkered history. June 2023 was a very different time indeed, my friends. Evolving Sky's booster boxes were still under $400, and the singles market was ruled by waifus, with their cute tees and inflated values. And when Paldea was released, Everyone was gaga for the Iono. She was the waifu who bites, and Magikarp was an afterthought. But the turntables have certainly turned. Iono is breathing through a ventilator these days, and Magikarp has gone from zero to hero. Let's not forget, though, that this card was also subject to a lot of buyouts and market manipulation at the $50 and $80 intervals. And at the risk of triggering people, it is still just an illustration rare. People might not like to be reminded of it, but it only gets treated with the same attention as special illustration rares because Pokemon messed up and there are so many illustration rares in Paldea Evolved. Because there are so many, Magikarp is basically just as hard to pull as Iono or Tinkaton EX. Then there's the Shinji Kanda thing. Some people think because Kanda also illustrated Giratina that Magikarp will be worth just as much. I can kind of see where they're coming from, but this argument completely ignores the fact that Tina is one of the top alt arts from Sword and Shield era with a far tougher pull rate. She's also highly playable. Magikarp is not quite as playable. And by the way, Shinji Kanda also illustrated this Stunfisk. Maybe that will go to the moon too. Who knows? Then there's the grading difficulty point. And this is a big one, guys. These are the stats. I'll put them up on the screen for you here. Paldea Evolve print quality is bad. Yes, the silver edges are an issue. Centering's all over the place. So Magikarp is hard to grade. And the profit raw to PSA 10 is substantial. That's the main reason the value on this card has gone up so much, guys. People like it, and it's hard to grade. That is the main reason. But I want to be crystal clear. I'm talking about investing here. I'm not talking about flipping. Investing is a long game. Flipping, especially with modern, has a short window of opportunity. If you're willing to hunt for pristine PSA 10 candidates, sub them, and then take the risk of having to sell an eight or a nine at a loss, then go for it. Knock yourself out. There is definitely money to be made, but it's highly possible PSA are doing population control on this card. And when the inevitable Paldea Evolve reprints hit, there will be a lot more carps, freshly pulled and ready to be graded, and with another 12 months of printing silver edges under their belts, I would wager Millennium's print quality will be far better this time around. Here's my hot take on Magikarp. People have been desperate for Scarlet and Violet to do something, and this card was just a stopgap. Now it's July 2024, and Greninja is stealing all the headlines. We've got a Dragon set in the pipeline, not to mention Evolutions and Team Rocket sets on the way. The market always levels out. Graded populations, FOMO, paper hands, it all gets factored in. You only have to look at Magikarp's most recent ride on the FOMO carousel to see that is true. It's a cool looking card, so don't let this video stop you from buying it if you like it for your personal collection. I think it will settle around the $80 mark and you're better off investing in a booster box instead. And if you don't like that, or I burst your bubble, or you think I'm out to lunch, let's do this. Let's make a bet. If I'm wrong, a Magikarp is worth more than $150 US on TCG Player on Christmas Day 2024, I'll give away one Paldea Evolved ETB to a random comment from this video. Even if that comment just says, Rob, I don't like your hair. I think this card will lose people money. Don't invest. Till next time, guys, take it easy.